Amen. Pastor Jason Sparks, Grace Gospel Baptist Church. And today's devotion that we're bringing to you is coming from Preston Mallon. Uh, He's our outreach pastor here at Grace Gospel Baptist Church. And we're excited for what the Lord's doing uh, in and through him and through his family. Uh, He's a tremendous help to our church. And and I'm excited for him to bring you this devotion out of Jeremiah chapter number 8 on the balm of Gilead. He's talking about the answer to all of our problems. He's talking about uh, the one that can fix the problem that you are going through uh, today. The one that can encourage you. The one that can lift you up. The one that can save you. Uh, And it is the balm of Gilead. Amen. Uh, Jesus Christ is our New Testament balm of Gilead. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. And He's the answer to all of our problems. Uh, And I want you to listen to Brother Preston talk to you uh, about that in this devotion. Brother Preston's only been saved since about... 2017 and he's been preaching about a year and a half and I'm excited to see what the Lord's going to do and I pray that he'll be an encouragement to you today. Hey everybody, Preston Milan here and I got something I want to share with you this evening as I was studying today I came across uh, this passage of scripture and it really stuck out to me here in Jeremiah chapter number 8. Uh, the last three verses. And I was reading this, and Jeremiah is writing the people of Israel, and he tells them, The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. That right there is a very, very scary verse. Try to wrap your mind around that one right there. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment hath taken hold on me. Now listen here. God says, Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? And I got to thinking about uh, what's going on in the world today, about uh, how sicknesses are ravaging across our country, uh, the flu uh, that's taken hold of this whole world, turning this whole world uh, upside down and scaring people to death. And how in the world today, right now, if you get a little tickle in your throat or you get sick or you get a symptom you've not had, you run to the doctor to find out uh, what's going on. And as God's writing uh, these uh, these people of Israel right here, he's saying, is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? And uh, that's a perfect picture of what's going on in the world today. Our New Testament balm of Gilead is Jesus Christ. He is our Lord and Savior. He is our great physician. Uh, But as God's having Jeremiah write this down here in chapter number 8, he's asking this question about the balm of Gilead. And I got to studying about what the balm of Gilead was. It was an actual tree. It was called the balsam tree. And this tree was just across the river. And uh, many, many theologians say this tree, this balsam tree that had great great medicinal purposes. Uh, what I uh, have understood it to be was they would take this tree and they'd take the resin from the tree and they would make a remedy out of it and they would put it in a wound and all pain and all agony from that wound would immediately cease. It would completely change uh, what was going on. And God was saying, is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? He's saying, why are you all hurting when there is a cure just right across the river? He said, why are you all going through and struggling with this pain uh, when there is an answer to it? And just like today in 2020, people, uh, they they might go to the doctor because they've got a symptom. Uh, But there is a much worse disease out there in the world, and that's called sin. And everybody has it, and everybody's suffering from it. And there is a physician. There is a Bama Gilead. And we don't even have to go a day's walk uh, like the people of Israel did uh, 4,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, however long it was. They, we don't have to go that far. All we got to go down is just down to our knees and call upon the name of Jesus Christ and ask Him to save us. God says, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? God said, I have a solution to your problem. He's asking His people, why won't you go get it? He's saying, just Uh, Just a little bit of a walk can heal your diseases. And I'm here to tell you today, you don't even have to go on a walk for it. You can just turn right where you are, bow down on a knee, and call upon the name of Jesus Christ, the real balm of Gilead, the ultimate sacrifice. He is our high priest. He is our rock. 
He is our fortress. He is our refuge. We can just bow down, on, bow down on a knee, call upon the name of Jesus Christ. He was the one that God sent His only begotten Son to die on a cross, taking our place. And all we have to do is put our faith and trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and we can have eternal life. He is our balm of Gilead. He is our great physician. And a time like today, as scary as today is, why don't we make sure we get a hold of that great physician? If you're not saved where you are right now, pray and ask Jesus to save you. Lord, I love you. God, I thank you, Lord, for that balm of Gilead. God, I thank you for that high priest. God, that lamb, that perfect sacrifice. Lord, I pray you just be with us today. God, if someone's watching this and lost, Lord, I pray you save them. God, I pray you pluck them out of hell, God. God, I pray, Lord, that you get glory out of everything said and done. Lord, I love you and thank you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.